Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avita Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 Advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called the most recent orders for each product and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 40th video of the series called the most recent orders for each product. And if I look at the question, this question says that we are given a table called custom with two different columns customer id and name customer id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the customer we are also given a second table called orders with four different columns order id order date product id and customer id order id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the orders made by customer id there will be no product ordered by the same user more than once in one day we are also given a third table called products with three different columns product id product name and price product id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the products okay we are asked to write a solution to find most recent order of each product return the result table ordered by product name in ascending order in case of a tie product id in ascending order if there is still a tie by order id in ascending order so yeah let's go through this example and see what we need in our output so here we have various records of customers in the customer table, orders in the orders table as well as products in the products table so just by looking at it the first inside that we have is we do not need customers table to solve this question because if you look at in our output you do not need anything from the customers table for orders table if you look at for every product id so for example product id 1 so there are 1 2 3 and 4 different orders and if you look at the latest or the most recent one so this was on 31st of july 2020 this is 29th of july 2020 this is 1st of august 2020 and 1st of august 2020 so for product id 1 6 and 7 order id on 1st of august 2020 are the most recent order and if we look at product id 1 is keyboard so similarly we can say that okay product id 1 keyboard order id 6 and 7 the most recent so to solve this question what we can do is firstly we can use the orders table partition by the product id order by the order date in descending order and rank them so that the most recent one is assigned rank one then the next recent and so on and once we have that figured out then since in our output we need the name of the product which is in the products table so we can join with the products table to get the product name so let's start doing this so from this table called orders all the columns right select star and then we need to use ranking to basically rank the most recent orders for each product id now we know there are three different ways of ranking in sql dense rank rank and row number because just we just saw and we also learned this in our previous video because there is a tie there can be ties so number is not the best solution here so you can either use rank or dense rank i usually prefer dense rank so i will go ahead and write dense rank and then for every product id we need that right so since we are writing a window function we need to write over clause over partition by product id order by order date in descending manner because we want the highest or the most recent order date and the top and let me alias this as rnk which is rank let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so uh here do we have that for every product id this one is the most recent then for product id 2 this one is the most recent and so on now in our output we also need the product name as we saw so what we can do is this entire thing can be aliased as a table called t so from this table called t that we just created using this subquery so let me alias this as t i need to left join the products table alias as p on t dot product id is equal to p dot product id right t dot product id and p dot product id if i go ahead and uh, look at this table so p dot product id in our output what do we need we need the product name so let me just drag it to the down and let's see okay let's keep the columns that are required in our output so return product name product name is in the products table so p dot product name and we need the product id then t dot order 
आई डी एंड टी डॉट ऑर्डर डेट ओके I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so still not complete yet because if I just you know let me just drag it again to the left and above. So this is what we have. So we have for every product and all the orders, their order date, order ID, product ID, etc. But we do not need that. We only need the most recent. So let me just you know do one thing again here because we also use the ranked right. So to get the most recent one. So T dot rank. Let me keep that column as well. so this is where what we have so from this output what we can do is we can say that okay only keep those rows where rank is equal to 1 because that is going to give you for every product id the most recent order and the details that we need in our output so what we can do is where t dot rank is equal to 1 okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if we look at now our output looks so okay for every product id the name of the product order id order date obviously we do not need our rank column now in our output so this was just for demonstration purposes so what we can do is we can remove t dot rank from this and then we also need to order this in case of ties so we need to order this by product name so order by p dot product name in case of a tie then t dot product id let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if you look at it this is accepted uh, our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how to do it so somewhat tricky question because even if the customer table is given to you you do not need to use this to arrive at the solution here and then what we did was we used the orders table to basically get the most recent order of each of the products and then we joined it on the product table to get the name of the product called kept only those rows where rank is equal to 1 basically means the most recent order date and then kept the required columns so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video